We're two hours into our coverage here on the Discovery Network. We've got Chris Jacobs, Christy Lee, Reverie Everham, Steve Mignante, Mike Joy, I'm Rick Drabool, and up on the block right now are on time with Bridgestone Car. That's right, the movie that was two-lane blacktop, this was the hot rod that was used, or one of several hot rods that was used for the making of that movie. Well, here it is, a Gasser style 55 Chevy. And uh, got a straight axle up front, and this is one of the actual cars. Couple of little changes here and there. I do see Willwood disc brakes on the ends of that straight axle, something that didn't exist in 1971 when the movie was made. But uh, there it is, a big old big block Chevy, tunnel ram, couple of Hollies on it. Very cool. Now in the feature, we learned that two of these three cars went on to be used in the movie American Graffiti. Not sure if this is one of them. Those are the American Racing 200S wheels. Popular on Chevys and Corvettes, the so-called daisy spoke wheel. And the car in primer with sliding windows instead of rolling up and down. Interesting. So remember the premise of the movie was uh, the hippies, the old, you know, duking it out against uh, the establishment and the judge street racing their way across the country. Warren Oates, of course, playing the guy in the GTO judge. They'd meet up in various places and scowl at each other and head off under the sunset. Very strange movie in some ways, but fun to watch. And that was Richard Rollins up in the uh, skybox who was bidding for a while, just decided, eh, a little too rich for me, or at least for what he wanted to pay for it. He decided to walk away with the current bid at $95,000, now bumped up to $100,000. Out in the Chevy display, they have a new Z28. You know the Chevy bow tie, they're emblem. Now they have the flow tie. It is the shape of the bow tie, but it's done kind of like this. It's just the outline so that, believe it or not, they say, they can get more air to the radiator by leaving the center of it open. This does have an old Pontiac-style rear axle, which was the go-to axle back in the 60s for guys building Tri-5 Chevys who were tired of breaking the uh, Chevrolet Posse unit. Tough axle, real uh, hard to get parts for. Bidding assistant working with his bidder, making sure that he knows if you just want to go up a few thousand dollars, I'll make sure the bidder knows. The odd bidder knows. Having said, it's going to go to that group right there. The applause goes up. They're ecstatic that they just bought that car for one hundred and forty-five thousand dollars. Stand up and take a bow. Rolling up onto the.